Hi friends, I'm Salman Riaz from Era24 UK. The topic of today's video is how to use WordPress. So what is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? You may ask. Well, WordPress.com is a self-hosted service that helps you build a website using WordPress software. Whereas WordPress.org is the software itself, which you can use to build and maintain a website on your own web hosting. Often beginners confuse WordPress.com and WordPress.org which leads them to choose the wrong blogging platform for their needs. They each have their own benefits and with WordPress.org you have full control of your website which means you are free to do anything you want and customize it as much as you need. For those who may need a bit more support, WordPress.com might be a better option as it is free and easy to use but that does mean limited features are available. Web hosting is an invisible essential element of the online experience. So here what is the web hosting control panel will look like. Now let me tell you about cPanel. cPanel is one of the most popular control panels in the UK. It is a user friendly dashboard and lets you manage your hosting account and servers. Many hosts especially shared hosts provide cPanel to their customers. From cPanel you can perform a number of important actions like publish websites, manage domains, organize web files, connect your domain name or web address to your hosting, set up emails to your site, install WordPress or other content management systems, back up your website, upload files to your server, check your bandwidth and other usage stats, change various security settings, install add-ons apps on your server. Now let me teach you how to use WordPress.org. To begin with, I will show you how to use cPanel. I'll be going slowly so that it is easier to follow along. To install WordPress, you need to scroll down to the software section on cPanel. Then click on Softaculous App Installer. Once you have done that, click on the WordPress logo. You should then see a screen with several options displayed such as install, overview, features and import. Click on the install button. In order to complete the installation process, you need to provide a few standard details. In this section, choose the domain you want to install your WordPress on and remove anything from this box as you will want to install WordPress on the main domain of your choice. Then you can continue with creating a username and password in the admin account section. A system generated username will be given to you if you don't input your own. So please enter a valid email address here. Also don't forget to write down your login information somewhere safe. Once you have done all that, scroll down and click the install button. Softaculous will check the submitted data and install the file to your server for WordPress. It will take some time but don't close or refresh the page otherwise the installation will be cancelled. As a bonus for those subscribed to my channel, I will be providing a pack of around 500 premium themes and plugins to test and practice with. I will also provide you a WordPress installed account for free if you don't have your own domain or hosting. As you can see the installation has completed now so click return to overview. Now you will see your WordPress installation in the current installations list on your web hosting. Visit your website in your browser and you should see your installed WordPress website. Congratulations! Now you know how to install WordPress using Softaculous. Let's try to log in and see the admin dashboard. The WordPress dashboard often referred to as WP Admin is a control panel for managing your WordPress website. Using the WordPress dashboard you can create and manage your website content, add functionality to your site via plugin, change how your website looks via themes and much much more.
The welcome widget shows tabs for some of the most common tasks when setting up a new site. The at a glance widget provides a summary of the numbers of posts, pages and comments on your site. Now let me show you the activity section. This widget shows the upcoming schedule post, recently published post, more recent comments on your post and allow you to moderate them. The next section I will show you is quick draft. The quick draft widget allows you to quickly and easily write a new draft, enter a post title and content, upload and insert media and add tags. At the end, all you need to do is publish button or click the save draft button. It's that easy. The WordPress dashboard is the first thing that you will see when you have logged into the administration area which will display the overview of the website. When you install a theme, which I will provide, you can add like this. And when you need to install any plugins, you can add and install them like this. The WordPress admin panel is a collection of gadgets that provides information and provide an overview of what's happening with your website. You can customize your needs with a few clicks to access things like your latest comments, posts, pages and media. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment down below. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and hit the bell button to get notified of any new videos.